So he still has uh, five more minutes before he goes back to the ER. So he's, he uh, uh, would like to check some of his emails. So he opens to, he goes to Outlook. and opens that application. He notices that he has an email from his colleague, Adam Carter, who would like to meet him later in the day to discuss some of the new HIPAA compliance that were discussed in the meeting earlier today. So instead of emailing him back, he wants to reply him instantly, but finds out that the green box that used to be available next to Adam's name is no longer available. So he is not able to IM him instantly. This makes, it, this, this makes Ed really worried because he's a busy doctor and he needs to collaborate with multiple doctors in real time. See, he, so he calls Max in the IT department to fix the issue. Max knows that Ed is a senior doctor and if the problem is not fixed, he will escalate this issue to his manager as soon as possible. Management console, so let him log in. So here you see the newly designed uh, web-based app management console. The features are easily discoverable and simple to find. So Alan knows what the problem is. He must have forgotten to create an application connection group for Office and Link applications and provision it to Ed. So that's what he's going to do it now. Go to Packages, create a new application connection group. So here he sees there is a new connection group. He would like to rename it to Office and Link. He sees the applications that are available to him to create a application connection group. So he adds Link and Office to it and hit Apply. The next task he has to do is grant access to that application connection group to Ed. So he, ed he finds the doctor's user group to whom this application connection group needs to be granted access. So hits grant access and close. This application connection group is now ready to be published and he makes that available to the doctors. So you were able to see how easy it was for me to dynamically link applications even when they were individually packaged. So what AppV 5.0 does is allows IT to create or link applications during deployment time as opposed to sequencing time, meaning that they could now virtualize even more applications that require high level of interaction. So let's move to Ed, move back to Ed, who is just going back to his office on his primary machine. He's really interested to know if Alan really fixed the issue. Otherwise, he will have his manager, he will have Ed, um, Alan's manager call and escalate the issue as much as he can. So he checks his Outlook application and finds that now Adam's presence information is now available to him because Alan created an application connection group for Office and Link. <clears throat>